black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a butter chicken extravaganza, a video I'm way too excited for. I've got it all off to the side of me. I'm gonna plate it up. I got some white here because the butter chicken sauce and everything, I just feel like the contrast of the white plate would be such an amazing thing. On the left here, we have an even more amazing thing, which is the crispy drumsticks I just cooked up and I am way too excited about them. I'll just give you a gander. They all look like that, basically. Just to prove my point, here's another one. Okay, so good. I've got way too many. Probably not gonna get through them all, but I'll make my best effort. Now we have the butter chicken sauce here. And just to make sure they don't go slippy slidey everywhere, we're gonna lay a light foundation and press them in. You guys have absolutely no clue how excited I am for this. I'm many, many, many hours fasted. And uh, just gonna be absolutely unreal. I tip it your way. I tip my hat to you, sir. For more adhesive and we keep on stacking until we get it cracking it's got two more back here Let's see if we can make them get on there mm, a thumbnail moment Next, I've got some crema, beautiful crema that I made up. I'll put a little pepperoncini liquid in there to cut through the fat of the butter chicken. It's going to be a messy video, y'all. Very messy. And then of course for color and a little bit of flavor, I wanted chive, but the store didn't have any. So we hit it with the green onions instead. How ridiculously good does that look right now? I am way too excited to eat this. Okay, before we do anything more, we must pour. And I want to get to that immediately because you got the ginger ale, because I just cannot wait to take a bite of this. Like I said, I'm super deeply fasted right now, so super deeply madly do. I can't wait to get into you. Oh, this chicken, it looks way, way, way too good. So we got the golden pour, the ginger ale, gingembre. like a fine wine spritzer on a hungover morning. Okay. All right, now that that's out of the way, let's get into this. Gotta break down these walls a little bit maybe so you guys can see what's going on. Oh my God. No, no, no. Thank you so much, whoever allowed me to have this food in my life. Powers that be. Yes.
Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Savage crispy bits. Absolutely necessary. <laughs> oh my god. You guys don't even have a clue. Not one singular clue where I'm at right now in this flavor haven. Redonkulous. Speechless. That's so rich. A little bit sweet. All the herbs in the butter chicken sauce just doing their thing. The cut of the crema, and actually, I, I made it. I obviously like hoodified it, and um, of course, I took my favorite liquid. My I took pickling liquid. I got fourteen percent sour cream, and I took pickling liquid from pepperoncinis and thinned it out. I made like a spicy pickled crema. So that tang of the sour cream, the brine, a little heat. Plays against the uh, fatty sweet of the butter chicken. Sauce. resulting in something that is just stupid good. Highly suggest giving it a try. This is just a store-bought butter chicken sauce I did not chef it but I did twist a little bit in that uh when the chicken was close to done cooking, all that fat that rendered out of it, I just poured the fat into the butter chicken sauce. If you're at all curious how I did the uh, chicken, Basically same method as I always do with all my chicken is I just tossed it in canola oil. Oops. 
salt, pepper. I put this garlic seasoning on it. On a baking sheet. In the oven, magic number. Who would have thunk it? 420. For these, it took about a, an hour. If you really want the true, the true crisp. Like I do. I'm about the crisp, evidently. Okay. I was actually debating adding some cheese into this scenario at one point, but I figured it was unnecessary. I know I should probably have some naan or some rice. But then it wouldn't be low carb. Trust me. I would love some naan or some rice. I think all in all, there was 15 drums in here. Which I never planned on eating the whole thing. I'll definitely have leftovers. <clears throat> oh, crispy. Oh, they're crispy. That's the thing, too, is like if you're afraid of cooking them too long, like if you think an hour is too long, like all an hour does is get the, the skin really crispy. Once you get the sauce on there, especially if, the, if you pour the sauce on hot. The moisture like retenderizes. I was dry. Mm -mm. That's pulling off perfect. I've eaten one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I've eaten seven already. Eight was going to be my limit. So I guess I'll crush this one in. Probably call it. Even though I feel like I could probably eat more. Look at that. Savage, no holes barb. I can say this. This is a top five food adventure.
that I've had on this channel easily. It might even be top three. I think so. Just out of control good. Okay, I lied. I'm gonna have one more. I see this crispy one that I want. Right there. See all that crisp crunch? Drag it through. Tell me you don't want that. You know what? Just to make it the truth. So, so good. This deep into the video. Still. So good. That was one for the books. A hundred million trillion percent. Wow. What can I say? Way too good. I gotta cut it there though. I'm full. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It's very evident that I did. I probably got shit all on my teeth, but whatever. It's an eating channel. So till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true.